Welcome back to Access Daily. Celebrities and A-listers will gather tonight for the Met Gala. And this year's theme is designer Karl Lagerfeld, ah. who is the creative force, of course, behind Chanel's modern revival. That's a pretty direct, you know what you're getting theme right there. Usually it's ambiguous. Yes. So uh, joining us from Lagerfeld's 18th century chateau in France Whoa. is a lifestyle expert, Fox. Lindsay Myers. Yay. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Since uh, you are coming to us live from Champagne, you were kind enough to actually send us a, oh. send us some Champagne. So salute. Salute. That's that's the thing. Many people don't know that Champagne is an actual city that exists, and it's only considered Champagne when it comes from there. Exactly. So I am standing in Champagne right now, and. If the drink that you're drinking has bubbles in it, it's only champagne if it's made here in the region. That's it has right. to be sourced here. Everything has to be created for here. So it's so special. And the champagne is absolutely out of this world. What do you think? Let's it's, cheers it's and take fantastic, a Fantastic, fantastic. Nice. I love a little bubbly. And Lindsay, what made Karl Lagerfeld such an icon? All right. He really shaped fashion in the modern world, right? He broke down boundaries. He <laughs> was more than just fashion, too. He was a full lifestyle brand. I mean, he is basically the mecca of fashion. <laughs> he is colorful. He's not scared to make bold moves. And something I love about him, he's timeless. We will be talking about Karl Lagerfeld forever. He was around, you know, creating fashion from 1950s to 2019. Mm -hmm. But guess what? He's not going anywhere. And I can't wait to see how they celebrate him tonight at the Met Gala. I'm so excited. Me too. Ninth grade. I had Carl Lagerfeld cologne. I thought it was the coolest kid. It, it still smells is. so good. <laughs> it's uh, so you're, cool. True story. You're coming to us from one of uh, Lagerfeld's historic chateaus. One of his chateaus, oh. mind you. Can you give us a little tour? Oh, I sure can. So we're talking about, I'm standing in history, 1732. Wow. The chateau is unbelievable. Will you please look at that? Wow. That gate, that entrance, the grandness. I feel like I'm royalty right now. I mean, King Louis XIV actually hid his mistresses here at the chateau, just so you know. Oh. But Karl Lagerfeld lived here. It's about two hours. Champagne's really close to Paris. Wow. Two hours from Paris, and you were tucked away in the French countryside in pure heaven. This is 34 acres of gorgeous beauty. Acres. They that can was, hide me that, in hey, there. I'd stay there. That's uh, that's the <laughs> side too. piece chateau. The side piece chateau. Hey, <laughs> you saw a grand that signed me up, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, is the inside as beautiful as the outside that you just showed us? I mean, I saw the outside and I was like, it can't get any better than this. I opened those doors. <gasps> the grandness of the stairs. It is eight bedrooms. It sleeps 16 people. Wow. I mean, the rooms go on and on. And it's, you know, why have one dining room when you can have two, right? Yes. I mean, it's flawless. The molding, the chandeliers, as you can see behind me, this is my favorite room. It's the sitting room. I have a fire going, the gold molding on every corner. It's just absolutely stunning. Is it true that Carl even has... Um, his own wing for a cat, for his cat? Yes. <laughs> Famous show pet. We absolutely love this guy. I don't even think, I don't think the cat had a wing. I think the cat basically had the whole chateau. Let's be honest. Yeah. He adored that cat so much. That cat is living the high life to this day, still alive, very grand. We're talking about the cat had its own chef, it had its own bodyguard, its own vet on call. Dang. You know, that cat is living the high life. I want to come back and beat your pet, I think. So yeah. you're either a cat or a mistress. Yeah. You're good in that. Uh... And my cat <laughs> gets Kirkland. As long as I can have the chateau. And does this chateau have a moat? We love a moat that you could raise up and decide who gets in and who gets is out. Is there crocodiles in it? Yeah, dragons. <laughs> I sure hope not, because I spent a lot of time out there. Oh, look no, at this. I love this, too. It brings a fairy tale, you know, to the chateau. You know, they, they're around forever because it was protection, and I think Carl loved that, and I love it about it. It's very secluded, very private, and only select few can cross over. And this, the, this house is actually up for rent, right? Like, we could stay there if we wanted That's to. That's so mm -hmm. cool. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So third home is amazing. It's a home exchange club. So we're talking about once you become a member, right? You can trade houses all around the world, over a hundred countries. They have over 16,000 members. So that means there's 16,000 options of places to stay. That's wow. right. I feel like I'm signing you both up. We're talking about villas, you know, houses, of course. They have boats, you know, resorts. And of course, Karl Lagerfeld's Chateau. I mean, how much better does it get? And the key thing about this that I love so much, the more dates that you give up for people to stay at your house, you get these things called keys or like points. The more points you have, you can basically stay for free. Wow. Ah. I, so I'm down with a villa or a chateau. Yeah. I'll take a cabin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you uh. visited a champagne house too? 
you can't come to champagne and not go and drink champagne in a champagne house so that cave you're seeing right there is from the fourth century i mean i could not believe and the coolest thing about the soil here in champagne it's made of chalk so those walls that you have there are chalk and that really is dense and because that is what soaks up all the nutrition and everything to make everything so delicious the bubbles there's something so that's chic cool. about champagne, and I think that's what Carl Lagerfeld really embodied in everything he did. Now, what's with the, the Carl's favorite cookie, his must-have snack? Because we have some snacks here. Which one was it? So basically, they call them biscuits here. So oh. you guys have a selection of beautiful pastries. I love French pastries. You know, they're colorful. They're unique. You know, you have, and you have, of course, the French bread there. They actually have vending machines that pop out their French bread, by the way. Ooh. So you, Mario, I have the iconic pink biscuit we call it and basically it is a form of cookie as we know it but what they do here in champagne it's a pink biscuit and to make it delicious you dip it in your champagne just like this oh oh wow Um, you dip in it wow we're getting into strawberry one right here yeah how was it did you get it Mm, Uh uh-huh there's nothing better we didn't dip there is nothing better than that not good Lindsay, what else can you do over there while living the carl life Champagne is a lot larger than you think. The region is full of beautiful towns and villages. I got with the locals. I went on the boat rides because it's all about the canals. It's all about that boat life. And you got to explore and enjoy and go get lost. So drink some champagne, get lost, and come to Champagne. Wow. Visit it, this beautiful town. You have Listen. to stay here. You have to come. That's awesome. Thank you so much for everything. And Thanks, listen, Lindsay. for more great travel tips, you can visit Lindsay's website, Get Lost with Lindsay. We'll be right back.